Uh, yeah, before I get into the game, I, I just want to uh, lead off with two things that actually have to do with uh, Western Kentucky's program, um, a program we have a, a great deal of respect for, a program that's one of the more tradition-rich programs in the country. Um, their, their head coach, Coach Stansberry, this was his first game coaching in conference play. He'd been dealing with a serious illness, and it's just a reminder to me as a coach who's only in his fifth year. Um, how precious this is, what a gift it is to be able to come out here and, and, and coach a game, uh, to be able to be with your team this entire time. Um, so, you know, we, we, uh, Coach had definitely been on our hearts and in our minds. It was great to see him back with his team tonight. Um, we wish him continued health and success. Um, also, they have a player, Luke Frampton, um, who is a great player. Uh, matter of fact, going into our game at um, Western Kentucky the last time, he had just scored his 1,000th point. Um, he is a phenomenal shooter. Um, very tough, uh, high IQ player, and he tore his ACL in the last game. And our, our team talked about this. Um, it was just a reminder to us what a gift it is to be able to get out here and play every single day um, and how we do not want to waste that gift. So, um, you know, our, our thoughts and, and, and um, you know, condolences and, and well wishes uh, go out to Luke as well. Um, about today, uh, just really proud of the performance um, it was great to be back, uh, as my point guard likes to say over here, it was great to be back at the crib. And there's no place like home. And the energy in the building tonight for Vice Night was phenomenal. Um, the, the promotions were great. Um, everybody in, in marketing uh, did an awesome job uh, ticketing our administration, promoting this night, all the student organizations. Uh, man, we, we, we were fired up about this. Our, our guys had some um, fire warm-ups on that, 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 that looked good. Um, AJ said after the game, uh, you know, look good, feel good, play good. And, and, and I thought that happened tonight. And you also play good when, when you have a great home court crowd. And every coach we talk to now comments on the energy that's in the building here at the bank. So um, just wanted to thank everyone out there for, for being here. Um, it means the world to us. Um, you know, so we, we have great joy playing here at the bank. Really proud of this performance tonight. Western Kentucky has as much firepower uh, as anyone in the conference. Um, they have as much talent as anyone in the conference. Um, you know, the, the, there was a table, there were two tables full of NBA scouts down, down there on the baseline. Um, and, and that was for a reason. And we have some guys that could play at the highest level one day. And, and I think they showed those guys that tonight. But it speaks to the talent that Western Kentucky has that, you know, we had a baseline full NBA scouts out there. And our guys were up for the challenge. Um, I thought we played a really hard first half. I thought we flew around. I thought we really followed the game plan. And we were still down two points. That speaks to the quality of team that Western Kentucky has. But we kept following the process. We came out of the halftime fired up and ready to go. Um, great leadership. Um, th this young man here, Arturo Dean, as a freshman, the things that come out of his mouth to help the team and that go into winning um, are, why, are why we coach. Um, you know, it makes my heart fill up with joy uh, to hear the leadership, hear how unselfish and tough he is. And these guys wanted it tonight. And we went on a big run there in the second half. Um, you know, we, we, we had a walk-on come in, and Jaden Grant, who we all trust with our life, sat there the whole first half. He comes in, and he's a huge part of the run. And, and that's what FIU ball is all about. Um, we're all ready to step up and, and do what the team needs. And, and tonight marked the halfway mark of conference play. And this is these last two games, this game at UTSA, the, the game tonight against Western Kentucky, this is who we want to be. We didn't play a perfect game by any stretch. There's a lot of things we can fix, a lot of things we're going to focus on to do better at. But if we can keep building from this foundation, then we can have a great second half of conference play. Yeah, it was a great job by, um, you know, Coach Stansberry and Coach Cunningham's, um, you know, their staff. You know, I, I thought they, they really went in trying to uh, pinpoint uh, Sharp and get him involved. And, man, he, you know, he, he's, he's a problem. 
You know, he's seven foot five. You know, I think he's got about an eight foot five uh, wingspan. Um, and, you know, he's got great hands. He's got great touch and feel. And, and they did a great job of getting him the ball around the rim. But we didn't, want, we didn't want that to take away from what we were trying to do. And, you know, they have so much talent and so much offensive firepower on the court. We really got to try to shrink the court. And, um, you know, early on, and, and, and that's a great point you made, they were also really hurting us on the offensive glass. And I, I thought there, in, when we made our run towards the end of the first half, and certainly when we made our run in the second half, we were limiting them to one shot. And I, I thought that was the biggest adjustment. And that was just being tougher, being grittier, being grimier. Well, uh, one of the offensive keys was demand great shots and, you know, don't settle. You know, don't try to squeeze off an okay shot or a shot we think we can make or a shot we hope that's going to go in. No, let's demand a great one. And if we move the ball and if we move our bodies, then we can get it and we take care of the ball, then we can get a great shot. We, uh, we, we only had um, – we had – Three second half turnovers, I believe. Yeah. Either three or four second half turnovers. So, you know, that's an unbelievable number. That's coming off at UTSA when we only had six turnovers for the game. Um, so when we take care of the ball and we get shots on the basket, then we have a chance to score a lot of points. The energy was just there, like I was just, I just wanted to be like that spark for my team. So, um, like he said, when we was out of town, um, I guess UTEP, we came out sluggish. We came out taking the game for granted, and um, and like he just said with the uh, what's his name from the guy that tore ACL, Frampton. Frampton, like it's a gift to play basketball. And I said to myself, and I, and I said to myself, like I'll never take this game for granted and come out like that again. So. I just that's that's me just showing appreciation to the to the game that I love. So that's what gave me the spark and the energy to to get those steals. Talk about I know for you tonight three fouls in the first half. Talk to me about having to adjust and, and learning as a freshman to you know not getting into foul trouble in a, a game like this where it, it can be very close. Oh, um, to be honest, I didn't even know I had three fouls in the first half. I'm not even gonna lie, but um, I just try to play hard, play defense. Um. Last game, well, no Texas game, I got in foul trouble um, pretty early too. So I just um, learned from that and just play solid defense. I want to ask you, Randy, Deshaun was uh, named freshman of the week. Uh, I think in these three past weeks, Arturo, Denver, it, it felt like, you know, in the past couple seasons, you guys weren't getting the recognition, you know, on the weekly awards. Talk about this year. You see you guys getting all the, putting on all the work and, you know, getting the weekly awards um, from the conference. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, when you get wins, you know, uh, individual accolades uh, come about. And that, that's, that's the main thing. And we have talented guys. We have guys that are putting in the work. And, um, you know, I, 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 actually, I did think we were overlooked in a lot of areas last year. Um, but they can't overlook you if you're winning. And that's just what we've got to do. And, you know, we went into UTSA, um, you know, after that UTEP game. And we said, you know, that that was our Super Bowl. And I, I only said it one time because that was our Super Bowl. But I did tell them we're going to have another Super Bowl coming up uh, that Thursday. And now we got another Super Bowl on Saturday. And when you prepare like it's a Super Bowl, which the Super Bowl is the biggest game in every football player's life, um, then you act accordingly. You prepare accordingly. And our guys have had that mentality. Now, can we be disciplined enough to keep preparing as if it's the Super Bowl? That's the big question. But I do want to say this. It's great to win. It feels great. I love to see them happy. But what fills my heart as a coach, what fills my heart as a man, is to hear a young man say what he just said about basketball being a gift. And him understanding that as a 19-year-old uh, young man and him understanding that, 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 fills, that fills my heart because that's a life lesson. We learned a life lesson last Thursday at UTEP. Yeah, we got our tails kicked on the court, but 
what we really focused on is if we have that kind of mentality and attitude off the court, then we're going to get our tails kicked in life. And that's what this is all about. And what you just heard him mention, that's a life lesson. And that's what this is all about. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Proud of you, brother.